Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. And today we're doing another Redesign Madness. Episode 2. I hope you guys like this one, like the last one. Yay. <laughs> and today's character is from, well, a movie. A Disney movie. So, let's hope Mickey doesn't see this. <laughs> and today's character is from Moana, uh, Tama Toa. I hope I'm saying that right. So, uh, yeah. Disclaimer, I'm not redesigning these characters because I hate them. I just redesign characters for fun. Or in this... Or in the design of the creatures boring in the case. But I'm just redesigning Tamatora because someone recommended it for my last video. And plus, who doesn't love giant crab monsters? I'm a big fan of the design, but I will say this. The only problem I really do have with this guy is... Well, honestly, he wasn't even in the movie that much. Which I know, in the movie, he wasn't the big villain he was like an obstacle for the two heroes or something I don't know but honestly I wanted to see more of him he was pretty cool if I remember he was about like five minutes in the movie I think I don't know. but during those he had some great presence and honestly he was actually one of my favorite parts even though his song was stuck in my head for a week making this Stupid video. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I still did enjoy design. Uh, how big and menacing, and yet how childish he can be at some points. Kinda. Also, I love his sense of humor in some of the scenes. It was pretty cool. And who doesn't like a giant crab monster? Like I said. And if you guys can tell, I'm using a script and I'm doing really badly at it. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> During this, I only had one idea in mind for this guy. I wanted to give him a pirate feel. And not in like the giving him a pirate hat and a peg leg and uh, that dumb crap. I wanted to give him like a pirate ship or something that's stuck on its on his back shell. And so I like the idea of a giant old worn down pirate ship is stuck on his back. And that's what I've done. <laughs> and during this I made more than one designs and try to figure out something. And I went through many different ideas. Like originally it was gonna be a normal little pirate ship and then one of it was gonna be a back of an old boat. But then it, I remembered in the Moana movie there was these little coconut pirates, if I remember, and they had like this weird, gigantic, man, like giant ship, and I loved it so much. And I had the idea, what if maybe he took it and now he uses it as a shell, and maybe some of those coconut crabs are actually with them. I don't know. Maybe they, maybe it's like a, if they get to live on the ship on his back and take care of the gold for him while he uh, Tamato can probably protect them and so after figuring more of this idea out I fleshed it out and started working on that instead because I enjoyed it a lot more than the others and so I kept on working on that design and then Finally, I just scrapped the other two ideas and created this. And uh, I under and I know you guys are gonna say like, "Where's his head?" Uh, that one's coming in later because I wanted to separate his de face design with the his body right now. Because I really wanted to like, you know, work on the face by itself and figure out what I was gonna do with it, which you guys will see in a bit uh, after this little scene.
Okay, now we get into my favorite part when I design the face. And uh, usually what I do is I just sketch out more than like one design, like trying different looks and stuff. But during this, I already like uh, the, after the third sketch, I already figured out what I wanted to give him. Kind of a, a mixture of what he looked like in the movie, but also more crab-like, because I, I looked up like many crabs and like cool-looking little crabs and stuff, and I figured out like, what if I make his bottom lip like uh, connected to these little pincher things, like a uh, other like a uh, guy. I forgot where the I, I found this like crab species I was looking at. It was called, I forgot what they're called. Like they're a dish. What? No. Uh, sand eater crabs, I think that's what they're called. They have like these giant uh, s mouse that split open and they eat little. I don't know. Eh, I was just looking at many crab species and then I created this face and I'm in. I really like this design and I really wanted to keep. Uh, in the movie, he was so expressive and stuff. Like you could see how he can get angry, happy. And I didn't want to just give him a crab face because that would just take away uh, what he had in the movie. So, kind of made it, kind of went more cartoony than I usually do. But I really like this look. In fact, I actually want to start drawing more like more expressive faces for my monsters. And this really did help me. And hopefully, you guys really enjoy it too. Now I'm gonna shut up and let you guys finish this part of the video. Uh, this part of the video and hope you guys enjoyed the final part. Before we get into the final product, I want to show this off. Uh, this is what happens when, uh, I mean, you rush a final product to a drawing you work for a little while. I don't know why, but uh, I rushed this drawing so badly. Well, this one, the next draw, oh, the next clip of this video will be the actual product, final product, which I stayed up all night working on. Oh, <laughs> but yeah, but. I wanted to show this off because honestly, I did enjoy drawing this one, but it wasn't good enough to me. I mean, a lot of people, uh, a couple friends told me that it was pretty good and stuff, but I don't know. I didn't like it, and that's what's the, well, that's the one thing I hate about it was uh, I am my own worst critic, and that's how this works. And I don't really hate it that badly, like I say about it. But, you guys can see what I did. Sometimes you make something and it looks good, but then sometimes you just want to redo it because, I don't know, it was just rushed and I didn't like it. That's what happened. And so I felt like I had it to do something better. And that's what I did. So yeah, I'm just going to let this finish up and then you guys get to finally see the final product. Well, the actual speed paint of the final drawing. While well, you guys enjoy this little, I don't know what should I call it, crappy? <laughs>
Okay, now this is the final product. <laughs> yeah, I totally didn't stay up all night working on this when I didn't like the first one I did. Yeah. <laughs> uh, in all seriousness, I'm actually happy I went back and like redid it because I like this one a lot better than the last one. And, I don't know. You guys can tell me like if you guys like it too and uh, stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the last bit of the video, so I'm just going to say thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this last bit of the video. Hope you guys leave a like and subscribe. We're so close to 100 subscribers. And I'm just going to say it now. If we get to 100, subscri uh, 100 subscribers, I will do a 100 subscriber special of me drawing 100 monsters on one poster. Yes, I just said it. I will do that. Now I hope this works. <laughs> and I'll, I'm actually, I really am excited to do something like that for this channel, because I want to, this year I really want to, you know, be more professional with my work. And in the future, there's going to be, I'm doing new changes. Like, I, I got something I'm working on next week. Uh, I got another series coming up that I really want to start. And I want to do more redesign, because this might be my second video, but I really, really enjoy doing this stuff. And I love it when you guys send me, like, characters I never knew about, and, like, talk about you should redesign it, and, like, give me a reason and stuff. And it gives me a chance to, like, research characters I never knew, and, like, figure out what they are, and, uh, the genre they're in. And, uh, yeah, I would like, I'll, I recommend anyone who's watching this part to leave a comment of a character you guys want me to redesign. It could be, like, a random character that's really boring and, I don't know. Or it could just be one of your favorite characters and, I don't know. I just want to improve on my channel. Like, I want to do new stuff, things and a new series. And I really hope you guys stay and, uh, stay and help me out with that. And uh, thanks again for all of you guys who's been subscribing. It's really been a pleasure uh, doing this stuff for you guys. So yeah, uh, you guys stay safe out there. Hope this year is better than the last one. Bye!